Oh, that's funny. Why is this camera not on? There it is. There it is. <laughs> Hi, friends. Welcome to Tabletop tonight. Um, wow, I look way too tall here. You do. Yeah, there you go. That's a little better. <laughs> Yay, we can see. Thank you for joining us. This is Tabletop tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola, and this is my wife, Michelle. Hello. My co host. Oh, and I, terrible. I'm just laughing because uh, Slackfish right off the bat, team live camera. <laughs> Uh, thanks for joining us, friends. I see all the regulars. Um, Panda Angel is Amanda Panda, our moderator, the chat moderator. Please keep things PG-13 so she does not have to bust out the band hammer. Uh, Time Roller is here. Games of Fire is here. Slackfish is here. Book of Nerds is here. Mrs. Gab 2020 is right here. <laughs> am I? Am I really? Am I, are you really? I'm oh, not sure. Hornus 34 is here. Thank you for joining us. Friends, we are happy to be here because this is a special night. It is the season finale. I feel like we should do jazz Do hands something, yeah, jazz hands, I don't know. Um, the season finale, this is it for season five. We are going to season six uh, next week. So, GP Glazer, thank you for joining us. Uh, it was Michelle's birthday last week, um, Hornus says, and now it's uh, my time. Oh, oh happy, happy birthday, birthday. Hornus. Yay. Should we, um, how about this? Hornus. Just for you, Hornets, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's you are on fire. Woo! <laughs> on fire! <laughs> now, and a little shout out from Bruno. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Happy birthday, Hornets. Uh, thank you for uh, spending part of your day here with us, all of uh, our friends here. Thank you. And it's Amanda's birthday on Thursday. This is a big birthday week. So, yes, yeah, speaking of Amanda, please. Oh, time roller too? Wow, really? Awesome. It's Gold Seal Games. Thank you for joining us. Um, Thursday, Amanda is going to be streaming a bunch on her channel, so please give her a follow, folks. Um, she's streaming not only on is her birthday, but she's streaming for charity. I mean, how cool is that? She's going to be, uh, I believe it's for Extra Life, Amanda. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be great. Please join Amanda. Let's support her uh, as she goes 12 hours streaming. That, that's yeah. crazy. That's hardcore. So uh, kudos to you, Amanda. Extra Life it is. Um, we are streaming. Today we are playing fun little game called Cloat Cats. Um, this is from Hobbit Games, and Michelle's joining me for Cloat Cats. She has been kind enough to take part of her uh, evening off. She's been working nonstop as usual, so thank you for hanging out and taking a little brain break here. Yeah, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Michelle. She's literally been in the other. Uh, we have, so she's Taking over Lauren's room as uh, the second office while I work in here, and uh, she's been going nonstop today. So we're sharing space and we're going back and forth. But yeah, how's uh, how are things today? I think I have a better grasp of what I'm doing. Okay, but uh, there's just other things thrown into the mix today. Yeah, I and mean, it's not stressful. Just more things on my plate. Yeah. Well, I guess that makes it stressful. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that's that's true. Well, at least, I mean, you know, you're doing with it the best you can. And, you know, you haven't ripped out any hairs or anything like yeah, that. So that's always yeah, a good sign. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm still walking and talking. So <laughs> I guess that's good. <laughs> nice. Uh, the Hoppy Meeples here. Thank you for joining us, my friend. Uh, so real quick, I want to shout out our Patreon supporters. Thank you. Uh, for all of your support, and also our special shout out to our all access and very important gamers uh, patrons, Mike and Jeff. Truly appreciate your support. Want to shout out to our sponsors. We have, as always, our sponsors, Van Rider Games. Please support Van Rider Games, friends. They support us. Uh, they are a fantastic group to work with. Uh, Van Rider Games at vanridergames.com. Also, you may notice the emotes that we have here. Uh, if you're a regular of the show, you know we use the emotes. We've got this cool artwork. That is compliments of our friend, Holly True Illustration. Uh, yeah, yeah, Holly's like right there. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. Our, <laughs> part of the fan band. Um, Holly uh, is a fantastic artist. You can check out her work at hollytrueart.com. That's C-H-I-U art.com. So please visit our sponsors, friends, and thank you so much. Um, the emotes that you see here um, in our chat, those are compliments of Holly as well. Um, there are there's Book of Nerds and Panda Angel use them. Um, yes, yeah, so please hang out or please visit their sites and support as you can. Thank you to Holly. Thank you to Van Ryder Games. Um, let me get this thing going on here. Do, 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 do. Speaking of Holly, she gave us this 
cool little overlay as well. So now we're official um, tabletop tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Twin Flower, thank you for joining us. There's uh, all the emails that Holly has produced, including if you see the, the right side there, the cool um, uh, Bruno email, <laughs> he's got the sunglasses. That's for our very special tier two subscribers, which um, Twin Flower is. So Twin Flower is always a generous um, supporter. Thank you, Twin Flower. And hello from Panda. Uh, let's look at this game, shall we? I'm going to put it up on screen here. Let me, if I can do this right. Uh, thank you, Jerry Board Game, for hanging out with us. Yes, um, Holly does an amazing job with those emotes. And do, 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 here we are. Look at this game. This is Cloak Cats, friends, from uh, Haba Games. Want to thank Haba for the copy. Uh, this is a light deduction card game. Could you just put it this way a little bit? Yeah. Just so you can get it there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're trying to do, Michelle and I are ca are cats. We're at this masked ball. Uh, this is my. This is going to keep my features. This will keep Michelle's. And we're trying to guess what um, each of the cats has. So the feature cards. I'm going to just pull up. We're each going to have three. And this is at random. So for instance, this one is in a crouched position, like downward dog. This means it's purple, and this means it has a cat uh, mouse toy. So we're gonna keep these secret from each other by placing them in the little fan thingy here. Gerald B. Gaiman, thank you for joining us. He says he really enjoys this game, yes. Uh, this is our first time playing it. And then, so um, we each have these three features. We keep them hidden from each other. And on your turn, it's very simple. It's four uh, simple steps, actually three. There's one that's optional. So the first step, let me move this out of the way. So uh, this sheet here just tells you what's in the deck. So you have these type of silhouettes, these type of colors, these type of either stripes or spots, and then these uh, accessories, a uh, mouse, a top hat, a cocktail, and um, what is that, a ball of yarn? Yeah. Yeah, a cocktail. Apparently these- These uh, are fancy cats. Fancy cats, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Slackfish, how many players? This is two to four players. So we're playing the two player game uh, because Lauren is not available tonight. Uh, those fans are a cute feature, agreed. Uh, someone needs some stream snacks. Let me bust out the stream snacks here. Uh, folks, what are you snacking on today? Here's the stream snacks. The official... There it is. Oh, sorry, Michelle. <laughs> here? <laughs> Get that butter popcorn out of my hair. <laughs> we don't have any stream snacks. Oh, I mean, we both have our water. We're staying hydrated. But snacks, we're not doing snacks tonight. I'm um, not hungry. Yeah, I had I a... I think it's stress. So stress for Michelle. I, we both had a pretty filling dinner. Um, we had veggies and um, actually some Filipino food. We had pork barbecue sticks with garlic fried rice, and then Michelle made some veggies on the side. So good. Oh, let's go, Carol. Yes. Chicken adobo for the for dinner, for the win. Oh, nice. <laughs> Love adobo. I'm, yeah. Now I'm getting hungry again. Uh, Gold Seal Games says chicken biscuit crackers. Oh, wow. That's good. That's an old school snack. Nice. What? Steak? Really? This guy's Daryl B. Games eating steak first? That's not a He's snack. Fancy. Wow. Uh, Jimmy Glares, what other type of tea is there? Extreme snacks, water. Yeah, we're right there with you, John. Uh, Slackfish has redeemed 100 burnout oh, points to hydrate. hydrate. Everyone, please hydrate with us. Thank you. I'm doing pretty good with my water. This is my last um, cup today. Yeah, so 64 ounces per day, correct? Mm -hmm. We're trying to do 64 ounces a day of water. Uh, Charity Board Game says root beer flavor is seltzer water. Nice. Making some potato widgets in the air fryer. Oh, Ooh. my gosh, that sounds delicious. And, uh, yeah, agreed. Let's go, Carol. Those uh, chicken and biscuits, so good. That's such a throwback to my childhood. I love those. Y'all are on point with your uh, snack game tonight. <laughs> well, well done, team. Awesome. Let's go back to the game, shall we? Um, this is Cloak Cats. I want to thank Haba again for sending a copy. So we're just trying to um, deduce what our um, features are. So in this case, Michelle's trying to deduce if I, what, you know, I'm trying to, or she's trying to figure out that I have a mouse, I am purple, and I'm in a crouching position. Um, and we do that by flipping over these cards. So for instance, this one is a black cat with a ball of yarn and um, in the crouching position. If your feature is one of those, you will take one of your mask tokens and place it on that cat. So now I, uh, Michelle knows that my cat is either black, has a ball of yarn, or is in the crouching position. Or they can be one, uh, more than that if, you, if I put another token. So as the game goes, we're going to continue flipping cards over, and that's going to eventually help us deduce 
you know, what the other player has. And the third step, so the first step is play a card. Second step is put masks down on the features that um, you have. The third step is optional. This is where you can guess one of the opposing player's features. So maybe at this point, Michelle says, oh, you know what, Ruel, I think your cat has a ball of yarn. And at that point, I will say either I cannot lie, I have to say yes, he has a ball of yarn, or no, she does not. If Michelle is correct, then I must reveal my feature card. If she is incorrect, she gives me one of her um, mass tokens. So the mass tokens are important because at the end of the game, uh, at the end of the game, whoever has the most mass tokens of the opposing player, those are um, one point each. So you want a bunch of those. Uh, also, any unrevealed features in your hand. So if these three were still in my hand, I would have three points. So you got one point per card that's left over and one point per opponent's mask. Jimmy Glazer has a big old thing going on time. It's hamburgers, <laughs> Asian chicken sausage, uh, soyaki, chicken breast with multicolored cornflour and saute and spinach. Oh my gosh, wow. Yeah, and Amanda says she's craving uh, Popeye's chicken. Said, hey, there's a pug in here. Hey, Bruno. There's Bruno. He was knocking at the door earlier. Hey, Bruno. He looks a little sleepy. He's sleepy, but he wants to sort of hang out with us. So Aww. he's like, "What are you guys doing? Playing cats? <laughs> Why aren't there cloaked yeah, pugs? pugs? Yeah, Can show some love for Brad. I'll throw those uh, emotes on, pugs. friends. Oh, there's a big yawn. Oh, oh, are you gonna throw up? Don't throw up. <laughs> Bruno, beat Bruno. Bruno. You're looking in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, baby Slackfish got some Bruno emotes. Thank you, Slackfish. Yeah, so that's the game, folks. This is Cloak Cats, and it's like a 15, 20 minute games and very light. Uh, it's reminds me a little bit of Dinosaur Tea Party. Um, oh, Games of Fire. Uh, yeah, Games of Fire actually had uh, a stream the other day. Um, she was playing uh, Code Names, I believe. So, congrats to Games of Fire. Uh, there's all the cool Bruno yeah. units right, right on Bruno's face. There's Bruno. And there's, hi, Bruno. Thanks, Games of Fire. Gooka Nurse had a Popeye's chicken Sammy yesterday. Hey, how are those things? I, I still haven't had one of those things. Out here where we live, they were sold out forever. Um, Maybe now's a good time to get one. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, where I got our, we got dinner. I picked up dinner from Manila Sunset, and it's right next door to a Popeye's Chicken. So hey, maybe next time. What's going on? Hey, Bruno. What's going on, baby dog? Okay. So, mm. juicy and crispy, nice. Oh, that's always a bummer when the bad service. Hey, I'm going to put the game back on here so we can get going. Because uh, Michelle's, so Michelle's going to play Cloak Cats. We're going to go through this. And then I'm going to hang out, folks. Y'all are hopefully printed out your sheet for On Tour because I'm going to uh, play On Tour. I'm going to solo it, but y'all, we can play together uh, because Michelle has to get back to work. So, hey, hey Bruno. <laughs> Yay, Michelle work. Okay. So let's get this started. I'm going to place my features in here. Pantry Games, thank you for joining us. Good to see you on here, my friend. And Legends DM, forgot to say hello. Yeah, snort, snort. Snort, snort, Bruno. So I have three cards. Okay. Michelle has three cards. Oh, so I put these in my little fan? Yes. Okay. Those are your features. That's what I'm trying to guess. If you'll notice, folks, so I had trouble with the colors. And if you'll notice here, I have written all the colors on the cats. I had trouble with the green and the brown. The brown is, in my, for my eyes, are really similar. So He's putting his face on the table. Yeah, Bruno. <laughs> I, mean, can, can, I don't know if y'all can see that. Can you see Bruno's face? No. no, it's hidden. Bruno's got his face on the table. Hornet says Chick Fil A spicy chicken is good enough. Uh, game was fire after some early tech issues. It was fun. Ellen, Randy, Kirby, and Dave Luza played. We all dropped by too. It was fun. Going to edit it and post it on YouTube. Right on, Game fire. Kudos to you. Jumping in the streaming game. Love it. Okay, so there's that. These are our down? turns. Want to get down? No. Okay. Oh. Okay, maybe you do. Maybe you okay. do. Okay. Uh, Bruno is heading out. Oh, bless you. Bruno. Bless you, Bruno. He just sneezed. It's like I'm narrating what Bruno's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno can. We need one. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Amanda, for posting it. Folks, in chat, Amanda, uh, the Amanda Raider has posted the downloadable on tour US uh, map, the printable version. Okay. Uh, so the first step is I'm going to reveal a card. Uh, so my, uh, my turn first, and we'll alternate okay. turns. Um, so I am putting this cat here. This is a green cat uh, in this pose, and uh, they are wearing a top hat. 
So if uh, it has stripes. If any of those features are on you, your thing there, you place one of your masks. I do the same. I do not have any of those features. Michelle, ooh, okay. So I can guess at this point, but I will not guess. And the fourth step is, the fourth and final is refill my hand. And now it's Michelle's turn. Can I show the cam or the or fam what I have? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. close my eyes. Now nobody reveal it because I will be opening my eyes soon. Don't type it in chat, please. Okay. okay. So, I, know, I know there's a slight delay on the camera. Is it? <laughs> is it? Is it off now? Yeah, Alex okay. says you're peeking. Okay. <laughs> hey, Alex. Bruno does need a Bruno cam. The Bruno GoPro. Oh, oh, hold up. He's like waiting for me to open the Bruno's door. Bruno's like, let me out. Thanks again for joining us, folks. This is Tabletop Tonight. We play games uh, weeknights here on Twitch, 7.30 p.m., but this is our Season 5 finale. Things are going to be changing next week, so please hang tight for some big announcements. Is this where I put it, or is there specific? You can put it right next to it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that is a yellow cat in that pose with stripes, no accessories. Uh, if you have one of those, you must place. Oh. I do not. Okay. And then optionally, you can guess one of mine if you would like. Yeah. Okay. And then you refill your hand. Okay. My turn. Um, I'm going to place. Hmm. This one here. <laughs> They will upgrade their analog alerts. I hear there will be glitter and confetti. Bite uh -oh. your tongue. <laughs> Uh-oh. Balfon's calling us out. I don't know about that, Balfon. Uh, congrats on Feisty. Oh, thank you for Slackfish for the, um, what are those called? The Bruno bits. Or I'm going to show, I'll bust out Bruno here. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so it's this one. Okay. So if you have any of these features, you also have to put your... Oh, yeah. Your, Mask okay. on there, right? Yes. So what is this? Uh, that just means first player. I was oh. first. Okay, I'm putting my mask there because that cat has one of my features. Uh, does that cat have any of your features? Okay. So it's blue in this in this pose and has a mouse toy. I'm gonna okay. guess one of Michelle's features. Michelle, is your cat does your cat have stripes? Yes. Okay, so you reveal that. What? Uh, the you just, part? Yeah, just okay. take it out. And then I get this, and then it's your turn. Okay. Um. <laughs> Alex says, season five, time for a clip episode. <laughs> I should do some clips, huh? That's too much work. That's too much work, man. <laughs> Slackfish is cheered a thousand bits. I, I'm still, okay, you know what? We're going to give Slackfish. Slackfish, just for you. How about the clappy hands? Let's do oh. Slackfish. Slackfish, thank you for the thousand bit cheer. Much appreciated. You are on fire. Woo! On fire! <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Slackfish. Much appreciated, my oh, friend. Oh, I need to get a card. Okay. So Michelle is uh, refilling her hand. Um, oh, you put that one out, huh? Yeah. Okay. Brown with. No spots or stripes, a mouse toy crouching. None of mine. How about you? Nope. Okay. Uh, would you like to guess any of mine? Nope. Okay. Again, that's what I have right there. So okay. refill your hand. I did. Oh, you did? Is it my turn then? Yes. Oh, my bad. Okay. I th I just saw the brown one now. So I need to place another cat. Here. Well, I just put that one out. I'm gonna put this one here. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna move this stuff here, folks. Put that there. Um, it's a white cat with a top hat and um, in that I don't know what do you call that pose? Fancy. Fancy pose. <laughs> so one of my my features is on there. Okay. 
Um, Michelle, does your cat have a top hat? Yes. All right, reveal. Okay, uh, refill and then turn. Where do I put this? Just anywhere? Yep, just in front okay. of you. Yeah. Just to show that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've refilled so. Uh, oh, that's. I think that's the official turn. The junk in the trunk pose. <laughs> Nice. And then, Michelle, it's your turn. Oh. Um, so you will play a card and then do the mess. Mm. Strutting. Yeah, that, that's what you call it. I, I, yeah, strutting. Stray cat strut. Stray cat strut. Which I don't think we can say because of copyright. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, we can't sing it, probably. But let's just go with Alex's junk of the Trump pose. By the way, Alex, I uh, DM'd you on Twitter. Um, I don't know if you got it or not. Okay. That is a black cat with a ball of yarn in a crouching pose. None of mine. How about yours? Mine either. All right. Oh, we got a raid coming oh, my in. Goodness. Folks, we got a raid. You know what that means? <laughs> it's raiding time. It's the raiding half. Thank you, friends, for. Uh, rating Marie Mac. I see Kestrel Five, Grizzly Diz. Uh, who else is coming on? Rolling with Rock. Thank you for joining us, folks. This is Tabletop tonight. Hey, free girl. Yay, y'all. We got a new thing for y'all. Thank you for hell, uh, Vision. Thank you for hanging out. This is Brothers Murph Raid. Y'all are on fire. Ah, fire. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, friends. Thank you for joining us from Gen Con TV and the Brothers Murph. I, I um, I know that they <laughs> I'm laughing over this hat. This is going to be thank you brothers Mark, for the raid. <laughs> Always good to see y'all. Michelle and I are playing um, Cloak Cats from Haba. This is a light card game for um, two to four players and hey Slackfish has gifted five sub folks so you know what that Ooh, means goodness. friends. You know what that means. Uh, it is time for gift, gift, gift. Oh wait no. <laughs> <laughs> it's season five. It's all falling apart. Alert, alert. We have Five new subscriptions. Thank you, Slackfish, so much. That means it is gift, 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 gift. Yeah. Woo! Thank you, Slackfish. Much appreciated. So what do you do? Do you wear the gift hat? Oh, or yeah. Or the Raider hat? Okay, so the Raider hat's for all our friends from the Brothers Murph thing. And then I put the gift hat for our friend who has gifted <laughs> the subs. And we have the torch because y'all are on fire so yeah we're, we're coming up with all kinds of wacky things and then clappy hands are Cla good for all occasions clappy hands are yeah <laughs> all all occasions yes it's all about the hats folks so michelle's made me a gift hat thank you friends for raiding we are playing cloak um cats from hobby games i'm trying not to crack up here it's like a british fascinator you can wear it like to the side <laughs> yeah, i'm trying to get that like sort of lean to it like a like a cool baseball cap but it's there's no way you're gonna be cool with a hat, uh, gift on your head. So, no, yeah, you're it. so cool, so so cool. <laughs> I will keep the rating hat on for our friends who've rated. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Slackfish, much appreciated. Um, Castro Five says I need to implement these ideas <laughs> in, my work. in my work meetings. I almost busted out with with this hat um, during our first Zoom meeting because <laughs> I was sitting here and I, I was I in. <laughs> that would be funny just in a zoom meeting all of a sudden raid oh, uh, <laughs> you need an itty bitty tiny hat for bit donation oh that'd be a great idea okay uh clip it and set it over if i do nice um <laughs> hashtag uh is that real it's cool thank you rolling with the rock um i think a lot of people would uh disagree disagree with that thanks <laughs> thanks babe <laughs> Uh, OMG, I could raid my own team. That was nice. That'd be, I, I just, uh, I just see this whole thing. Like you have the zoom meeting, you know, you have the breakout sessions and you go to the breakout and you have your raiding hat, you know, that'd be fun. So yeah, raid, raid, raid. That'd be so funny. <laughs> Let's get back to the game. Shall we? Thank you for joining us friends. Uh, if you stick around, so Michelle's, we're going to play, uh, clo what is this called? Cloaked cats. Cloaked cats from Hobby Games. Uh, afterwards, she's going to go back to work, but I'm going to hang out and I'm going to play on tour with y'all. So stick around. Uh, thank you again for joining us. Let's get back to this. So it's Michelle's turn. She just put up the We're trying to uh, guess the features. Um, so this was the cat here. I do not have a black cat with a ball of yarn in that pose. No. So Michelle, do you have anything there? No. 
Okay. So at this point, you may, if you chose to, guess what my cat has as a feature. Does your cat... So, sorry, just to review for people who are just joining us. Okay, good. Each cat has a couple of different features, or one, two, three, a possibility of four different features. You can have the color, which is, uh, this one's blue, the pose, which is, this is just kicking it, uh, an item or two. This one has a mouse toy. Uh, so this one is white in the junk in the trunk pose with a hat. So my masks indicate that my one of my features or one or more of my features are on these cats here. Michelle may guess if she gets correct, then I take it out of my feature uh, fan. If not, then I um, she will give me one of her mask tokens if she's incorrect. Does your cat have a top hat? No. So you give me one of your tokens. I don't want to. You have to. So <laughs> it's the rules. And then you draw back up to um, another card in your hand. Okay. okay. Okay, my turn. I'm going to play. Do, 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 do. This one here. It is a green cat with a ball of yarn and in that pose. None of my features are that. Are any of yours? Uh-oh. So Michelle's done that. She's done that. So I guessed already she had a top hat and she had stripes. I'm going to say that your final feature is green. My final feature is green. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> there it is, folks. Uh, so I have um, so the points. Michelle has no points because uh, she doesn't have any features here. She has none of my masks. I have three features left, so that's three points, and I have oh, one for mask. Oh, you two colors. Yeah, again, it's just random. I had blue and white cat, and then I had spots, which none of them had spots. Yeah, I got confused. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, so what? Oh. Um, well, it's because well, I assume that you had one color, one like feature, oh, and okay. one like accessory. Yeah. So I was like, how do you have a white cat and a blue cat yeah. if you can only have one color? Right. So it's I just, didn't know these were random. Yeah, totally random, folks. So that's, um, oh, what is it? Almost Master Mar like, yeah, score a direct hit. Yay. Yeah, I finally won a game, folks. Uh, Murray Mac, junk of the trunk, foes. I can see one hard translate that right. <laughs> uh, people are booing work. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Boo work, yeah. Uh, GG, thank you. Um, yeah, so that's the game, friends. This is a really light card deduction game, a lot faster than um, Dinosaur Tea Party. Yeah, that's all I can handle right now, though. My yeah. brain is fried, and I'm not done. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, the, so it's one of those games um, that works well when you're working 12 hours like Michelle to, today, and she just needs a little brain. 12? Has it only been 12? It's only been 12. So, well, yeah. um, any thoughts before you get out of here? Um, on anything. Well, this is a cute little game. Yeah. I, again, the colors, not good for my eyes. So, Michelle thankfully helped me out. Just we put the cards in colored orders and then wrote everything there. So, we are we are good to go. Okay. So, Mary Mack is asking what grade I teach. I have high school independent studies and um, I kind of have, I have mostly ninth graders. I have about know, five or six tenth and I have one. 11th because her parents kind of uh, yeah <laughs> Murray Max says I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go to sleep right now but I can't yeah. <laughs> oh I oh. just started fourth I taught fourth grade at one time Visher is um teaching math one right now online oh. we used to teach math too another teacher oh, yes. I, oh. yeah, I know him personally yeah it's kind of a potpourri I have um mostly math 1a and I have some that are in math too. So, yeah, so many things. <gasps> You're prepping for math 10 and 12 right now. Ah. What's our USD? Is that Roland USD? Riverside. Riverside. Yeah. Oh. oh, here, I guess I should give you these. Yeah, we're just gonna put them back in the box here. Okay. So friends, we're just going to uh, put away the game. Michelle's going to get back to work. And then we're going to play, um, I'm going to play with y'all. We're going to play some on tour. I'm just dragging my feet here because I don't want to go <laughs> back to work. Go. <laughs> you can't make me go. Just said, I also know if you're on top of EOC in Riverside. 
There's some system of Eureka. Oh, wow, a lot of teachers in here. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, I saw someone take off. I don't know if it was. Um, no, Twin Fire is still here. Uh, Hornus, thanks for ha hanging out. Okay, so friends, uh, give me a minute here. I mean, I'll, I'll keep the camera rolling. Uh, thank you for uh, the game. You're welcome. Good luck with everything. And, I gotta think now. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with the thinking. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should tell my students tomorrow. Just hey, here's your assignment. Good luck with the thinking. <laughs> nice. No, no. Uh, well, yes, it's, it's your call. Yeah. I'll do it, and I'll let you know how it goes. There you go. <laughs> Bye, good night, everyone. Bye, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> Could you hand me the dice tray in that box, sir, yeah. please? Thank you. So we're gonna play some on tour, folks. Hopefully, some of y'all have downloaded the uh, map. Um, it is a low ink map, and I'm gonna move it this way. See you later. So y'all are stuck with me for the next um, half hour or so. Uh, everyone says good night, babe, and uh, night. nighty night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Michelle don't want to go. She'll do. I have to. But thank you for hanging out, friends. Um, I am going to. So yeah, uh, Thalfon says, "Oh geez, I need to know U.S. geography for this." Well, I don't know if you need to know it, but yeah, it, it definitely helps. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'm going to set up the map here and then I'll have the dice thing right there. So yeah, uh, go ahead and grab your, I, I, now I feel like I'm in the teacher's chair, right? Grab your pencils and or pens or your writing utensil, get your sheet out and mind, we're going to play some on tour folks. Uh, tw 25. Yeah. We'll, we'll stick around. Uh, do we need a glue stick today? I don't, I don't get uh, the glue stick. Oh, no, no, it's like this. <laughs> uh, let's do, I, now it's been a while since I did the setup. I know I have to, is it four cities? Yes. Okay. Got my eraser ready. Nice. What was it? The the Tycor Ticonderoga, the number two pencils. Hope you all have number two pencils. Your Scantron's ready. Your blue books. Is that still a thing? You all still do blue books? Windows paint hand, does that count? Sure. <laughs> Love it. So in the on tour, um, yeah, it's rolling right. Hopefully y'all have played it before. I don't know if I'm gonna explain the whole thing, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll just jump into it. Let me see if the camera's ready here. Bump up the camera just a bit. Whoops. Marie Mac, we did blue books in college in the eighties. Yeah, I'm totally dating myself. Uh, let's see, is that? Okay. Whoops. Hopefully that's all right. I'll just copy your every move. Yeah, the, it sounds like we're back in school now, right? <laughs> just, just copy, folks. Um, I'm going to keep the dice here, I think. So it <laughs> doesn't waste away to students' monies. That's right. Blue books are more college thing. Waste money. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me make sure. So... Before we start, of course, the most important part of any on tour game is naming your band. So I'm going with my go to. Uh, mine is Ruelica, a heavy metal band based in the Inland Empire. Ruelica. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. How was the Brothers Murph stream? Um, I, I forgot what they were playing tonight. I, I saw it for just a second over there on, uh, I think it was Gen Con TV. Okay. Oh, Sierra West. Nice. Still have not played that. Oh, I guess I should put this camera on so um, we can play the game. But we mostly talked about fast food. Nice. <laughs> um... So you need to tell my favorite fast food. Uh, that's a great question. I mean, I'm a SoCal guy, so I always, uh, if I'm going to get a burger, it's in and out. But I'm a huge uh, burrito fan. I love burritos. So a good carne asada burrito from like Alberto's, uh, that's probably my go-to. Um, during my childhood, I, well, during my teenage years, I used to go down to San Diego uh, my best friend lived there, so I would spend like weeks, weekends, or even a week at his place. And there's a place called Roberto's down there, the famous fast food Mexican joint. And 
he's the one taught me all about asada and you know burritos and you know once we started getting a little older you know older teens we started going to parties and that was like the place to go after a late night party you go to roberto's grab a burrito soda or beverages and uh, that was the place and just throughout you know high school college and so forth that was so that's probably my favorite uh a carne asada burrito um i've heard of gym boys i've never been there alberto's yes thank you visitor uh alex says wiener schnitzel really okay um alex also says my band is the beatles it's a clever pun and i don't think any of us have ever used <laughs> uh, i've never heard of the beatles thank you alex <laughs> Uh, Twin Fire says, I got a big box with 12 maps. Oh, end up splitting the maps among my family. Hey, that's a great idea. Splitting the maps among families, household at the start of the pandemic. Very nice, usually on Sundays. Yeah, that's, I think my copy has four, the f standard four maps or whatever. Uh, Showed you the ways of the Asada. Yes, Book of Nerds. Uh, best fast food burgers ever found were Five Guys in Montreal. Okay, when I was doing my postcard there. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you know what? They had a Five Guys. They brought Five Guys out here to California a couple of years back, and I didn't. I mean, it was good. I just maybe it's just my taste buds are SoCal. I mean, I, I love it now. Uh, Alberto's, yeah. Popeye's chicken, Sammy. I, I still need to try that. That sounds so delicious. Okay, you know what? I know we had a big dinner. I'm getting, I'm getting hungry again, folks. That's not good. Um, let's start, shall we? So we're gonna do the starting uh, lineup here. The habit and in, in and out are different. Yes. So. I love the habit, and um, I went to school at UC Santa Barbara, go Gauchos, and the habit, that's where the habit originated. I used to go to the original habit um, just right across uh, from campus, and it's a it's a true locals um, uh, burger joint. Like, the owner, he was actually, like, a kid. Like, he was 16 years old decades ago uh, when he worked at the habit, and he ended up buying it from the original owner, and then he, you know, it just took off, and it's now franchised and everything, yeah. Great burger. Oh, uh, Alex, my family owns some wiener schnitzels. I have chili in my veins. Nice. I do love a good chili dog. And yeah, wiener schnitzel, that's, we didn't have it near us growing up, but you know, whenever I, I, I do enjoy them, I like that. I think it's the Polish sandwich. It's got like a Polska kibasa with on rye bread with a, uh, like a dill pickle. Good stuff. Uh, Grizzly Diz is eating a California burrito right now. Nice stream chat always makes me hungry. Yeah, that's we always talk about stream stacks here, folks. If you're new to the stream, uh, don't don't watch the stream on an empty stomach. <laughs> uh, chili is the best. I, I do like a wiener schnitzel. So, oh, um, speaking of chili, the habit, the original habit back in Santa Barbara. I don't know if they still do, but for years they have they have chili. They don't do it now in any of their franchise locations, but the original, I think it was like two of the originals, the one uh, in Goleta, which is UCSB, and there's one on like De La Vina uh, downtown. They used to serve chili, and then for a while after they franchised, they were they would totally have it like off the menu. So good, but I don't I don't think they do it anymore. Um, Book of Nerd says, I got to talk to a doctor about the chili in my veins. Yeah, probably not a good thing, folks, but um, yeah, it sure is delicious. Dagnabbit going to make a salad. Salad sounds good, too. Oh, there it is. The hat has good chili. Yeah. Um, I, I like the, you know, when you go to the hat of the hat, folks, so it's another SoCal thing. The hat, a uh, home of the like, huge pastrami sandwiches. And they have, when you order fries, it's literally a bag of fries. It's insane. Like they, you order a small, it's enough for like your whole family. You order a large fries, it's enough for your family, your neighbor's family, and your other neighbor's family. It's ridiculous how much, how many fries they give you. And I like to order the side of chili, like John was saying, but the nurse was saying, where I, I just like to dunk him in the, the fry, uh, the chili there. All this talks make you miss curry verse. Oh, I don't think I've heard curry verse before. Um, yeah, I should we just talk about food? <laughs> Let's play a game, shall we? Um, I've got the camera has set up here. It's a little, it's a little off here. Let me see if I can fix that. Nothing but the best and high tech stuff here, folks. Uh, we are going to start with North. And is it, can it be the same? Roll doubles, set up only, we will do, uh, draw. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm, we're going to dump that one. Let's go central. So, you think I'm in the same? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just go with this. So, I've got a 37 and a 73. So, the 37 is going to go to Illinois. We must all start there with a 37. 
circle that. And then the 73 for Kansas. Okay. So 37 in Illinois, 73 in Kansas. And we're going to do it one more time and then remove the cards from the game. So I'll give that a second. I know we've we got a, a slight delay here. So 37 um, Illinois and 73 Kansas. West and West, tell you what, I'm going to. So that was that one, that one. Okay. Roll them dice. There are other states, right, Alex? Okay. So we've got 38 for New Mexico. So New Mexico, 38, folks. Where's New Mexico? There it is. And then 83 for Nevada. 83, Nevada. So I'm going to give these other cards a quick shuffle. And then we're going to get going. Thank you for joining us, folks. This is Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola. It's a pleasure to be here hanging out with y'all, talking food, talking games, hanging out. It is Monday Fun Day. Um, this is the final season, or not final season, the finale, season finale of season five. We are. This is five months in, friends. I've been doing months for seasons and it's incredible it's mind-blowing it's totally blowing my mind that we are five months in on this whole pandemic thing stay at home trying to lower those numbers so i want to thank you all for you know being safe and hanging out with me and my family as we do this live stream thing we really appreciate it. it's been a lot of fun it's still going to be a lot of fun things are going to change next week but i want to thank you all again Twinfire's got all the emotes. A panda's got some emotes as well. Thank you. Um, now, let's go back to this thing here. So those are starting states. I'm going to remove these cards from the game. And then we will start. First, I'm going to flip three cards. North. North Ohio, North New York, and South Georgia. Let me get these out of the way. And I'm going to roll. And y'all get to choose where you're going to do your thing. Oh, right off the bat, I have rolled an 11. Okay. 11. So is that, do I, do we put a star? Jesus, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, doubles. Uh, what if a player, folks, what's doubles do? Isn't that a star? Same shit, star with LV. Yep. So you draw a uh, star in empty state on the board instead of, uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Games of Fire says, hanging out with you guys uh, helps helps us all so much during this time. Getting to know more people haven't agreed. Yeah. Y'all are a big, big part of this. So thank you. Start. Yep. Uh, double star wild. And you can, and you can still circle if it's a state. <laughs> Go to jail. <laughs> so I'm going to take my 11. Do I want it New York or Ohio or Georgia? So I'm going to go Ohio and circle that. So we have Ohio, North, North New York, and South Georgia. And it's 11, so, oh, it's a star, not 11. Dolphin, what's the goal of all the numbers and stars? So what you're trying to do is you're trying to kind of you're a band on tour, so you're trying to get the longest, um, basically like the longest tour, or hidden up as many cities as you can or states as you can. So at the end of the game, you're gonna um, start anywhere on the map and you're gonna go um, from state to state, and it's got to be in numerical order. Um, oh yeah, the Twin Fires got it right there. Thank you. Form a tour of consecutive numbers, stars or wild. Can't backtrack. Correct. So in this example, if I had um, like a 20 here, then I would have one, two, I would have three states connected because the star is wild. But I don't have that yet. Oh, so if you like to go 37, 38 to 83, yeah, you, you are allowed to do that. Obviously you don't want to, but yes, you can you can skip numbers as well. Okay, friends, so I'm gonna move on. So that was that. 
And let's do the next three regions. We have the South region, Colorado, another South region, region Texas, and finally North Michigan. So I'm going to roll the dice. Okay. So the roll, now you're going to have to write two of them, remember, 27 and 72. That's 27 and 72. Uh, Mary Max says, and you don't draw the tour until the map is filled. Correct. When we're all done, we've um, filled up the whole map. Then we you can draw your uh, line. Okay. So 27 and 72. So I'll put the dice here. Hopefully it's a little easier to see against that background. Okay. So I'm going to go. So I want to get that 27 over here. So I can do a north. Okay, let's do, I'm going to put North Michigan. So if your tour goes in a, um, a state that's circled, you get double points. Okay, so right now I have two and four, right? Because um, here you have visited states is one point each, visited circles another point than your total score. Rules recommend drawing and editing the tours you go. Interesting. So you might end up on plan like D by the end. Okay. So 27, oh, 72. I forgot the 72. So I did my north in Michigan. So I've got to go south uh, for my other ones. Uh, well, this is 73. I wonder if I can loop around here. That'd be sort of fun. No, but okay. But Colorado. So if I, I'm already planning. If I go, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to put the 72 here. I like those circles. Okay, plan Z, yeah. All right, so that was south, south, north, 2772. Hopefully, you all are ready. I'm just going to go. The next ones out are south, Missouri, central, Indiana, and east, Pennsylvania. Falfon says, I will plan to detour my tour through the Canadian prairies. Nice. Uh, hey, did I just roll another? Wow, another double, folks, 99. So you're going to put a star anywhere. Anywhere here. So we have East Pennsylvania, Central Indiana, Missouri, um, South. So I'm going to put the star, ooh, right here, Indiana. What up? So right now I have two, four, six, eight points right there, folks. Two and five hours. Someone copied? Is that me? So we have 99, so that's a star in any one of these regions, south, central, or east. The states are Missouri, Indiana, and Pennsylvania. I'm going to continue. North, North Dakota, west, Idaho, and north, Minnesota. I'm going to roll the dice, see if I get no more, more doubles. Nope. 89 and 98. 89 and 98. Falfon, so if the card is South Missouri, you could put a number in any South state, but if it's not uh, Missouri, you don't get the circuit. Correct. That is absolutely correct. So 89. Okay, we're going west with that one. Huh, North Dakota and Idaho. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go Idaho for 89. And then North Dakota for 98 in the circle. So looks like I'm, I'm going to try to get my tour to loop or go some crazy way here. 70, oh, 72 and 73, and that's not going to work. If I can go this way, maybe. Okay. Uh, so 89, 98, North, North Dakota, West Idaho, North Minnesota. I'm going to continue. So we've got West Washington, East Mid Coastal, and North Oregon. Oregon. I was saying it because I was I, I watched something the other day where someone was pronouncing Oregon as Oregon. I say Oregon. <laughs> Slack is yeah, this is so true. Oh, that's not going to work. Could be the motto of this game. Absolutely. So I'm gonna roll. Let's see if I get any doubles. Nope. Uh O2 or 20 and 20. So put the O2. So 2 and 20, everybody. And we have West Washington, East Mid-Coastal, and North Oregon. So I think I want to do the Mid-Coastal here, too. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, we're going to do that. So mid coastal, I'm going to put the two. And then I'm going to do the second card is going to be my north. I'm going to put the 20 here. So I don't circle that because I'm just taking a north. Beyond Dead 13, thanks for joining us. Yeah, especially then when your master plan falls apart. It always falls apart, right? Okay, friends, I'm going to move on. Uh, let's get these cards out of the way. Central Wisconsin. Central South Dakota. And East New England. Dice coming up. Hey, really? An wow. Another doubles, folks. 55, so... Place a star anywhere you want, Central, Central, East. The states are Wisconsin Central, South Dakota Central, and New England East, and as a star. Season 5 finale, the stars are out. Yeah. Seriously, most doubles ever. Um, I don't... I know I've gone through games with no doubles, and I think the most doubles I've seen in games like five or six. It was crazy. Okay, so where can I get these doubles? South Dakota, maybe? New England. New England's all the way up here. I'm not going to do that. Wisconsin is, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to double up over here. Wisconsin. Okay. All right, so folks, you put one doubles. Uh, Wisconsin Central, South Dakota Central, or New England East. I'm going to move on. South Oklahoma, West Utah, East Florida. So we got some doubles. Nope, close. 23, 32. So 23 or 30 and 32. You will have to place it in south, and the state is Oklahoma if you want it circled. West, and the state is Utah if you'd like to circle it. And Florida, or Florida, uh, East, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to go probably east, but not Florida. 23 and 32. So I can do south and east. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a south and an east one. So this was 27. Um... I've got a 23 I can put here. Okay, so here's my east, which is going to be 23. So 20, 23, star, star, 27. Okay, yeah, 23, West Virginia, and then 32, Kentucky. So I can go 2, 20, 23, or 2, 20, star. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, wait, 20... 23 star. Yeah, I can go up this way like that. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, Twin Fire, thank you for the stars. And uh, the app for this game is pretty good, too. Agreed. I like the app. So to clarify, is my board meant to be a hopeless disaster by this turn? <laughs> I've, I've been in games like that. I have been in games like that. Let's continue. Uh, West Wyoming, East South Carolina, or like I call it, South Kakalaka, and then Central Iowa. Okay, let's do some rolling here. Oh, I almost thought that was a double. 69 and 96, friends. 6996. We have West Wyoming as the state. South Carolina in the east and Iowa in central. Ooh, did I get that Wyoming? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be tough to connect that. You know, I'm going to put, so how am I going to get over here? That's the problem. 69 is going to be here. Huh. If I'm doing my plan, I'm going up down and across if I did 69 in Iowa and then 96 in the west but not circled okay 
Hope you all are doing all right. Um, thank you again for hanging out. Happy to have Michelle here on one night. So I'm just going to, I'll start talking now about what we've got uh, planned for changes. Um, tabletop tonight is we're going to come back next Monday. I've got some other streams that I'm doing. So, of course, tomorrow, uh, 3 p.m. Pacific, I'll be hanging out with John, a.k.a. Book of Nerds, and Amanda, Amanda Panda, over on board in East L.A. And then next week, Monday, we're going to come back at a different time, 7 o'clock. So it's a uh, half hour uh, earlier. Um, we're going to start on – hey, is that a raid? Okay, give me a second. Uh, next um, Monday, we'll be starting at 7 p.m. instead of 7.30 that's what we think. We got a raid from Board Game Quest. I want to thank Board Game Quest for raiding. That means the raid hat is coming on. It's a raid. Thank you, Board Game Quest, uh, for hanging out. This is Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola. I'm happy to be here. I stream with my family and friends every, uh, not every, but weeknights at 7.30 p.m. But this is the season finale of our season five. Uh, so I was just announcing to our friends here in chat that things are getting a little different um, starting next week. Um, Board Game Quest is here for the Raid Hat. This is for you, my friend. Thank you. Um, actually, for you as well, You are, for all your friends, you're on fire. So we've got the torch woo, on fire. Uh, welcome, Raiders. Uh, Victor 2, 2K, thank you. Um, we also have all kinds of fun stuff here. We've got the pug. This is Bruno. Bruno's our actual pug. He's not here. He was here earlier. If you're here at the start of the stream, he popped in for a minute. Uh, Grizzly Diz wants to uh, see what your prop shelf looks like. Yeah, I think all the games are going to be replaced by props by next year. <laughs> Friends, show some love for Bruno. Use those Bruno emails. Thank you for uh, hanging out. We've got, oh, we also do this on our stream, folks. If you haven't been here before, stream snacks. What snacks do y'all eat? Um, we just had this great conversation with our friends here. Have everything from burgers and burritos to full on like steak. And um, someone else had like chicken. They had some a nice chicken dish they were doing. So we we talk about games. This is a board game Twitch channel, but we also talk about food, our animals, pugs. We love pugs. We actually played Cloak Cats today from Haba. So thanks to Haba for the fun deduction game with cats. Um, yeah, Dark with the Iron Art, that's that's right. Burgers and burritos, pretty heavy for stream snacks. It started with stream snacks, and all of a sudden, it was like straight talking about dinner. So, it was, yeah, that's how we roll here. Thank you, friends, for joining us. My name is Ruel. This is the Raid Hat. Thank you for raiding us. We're going to get back to our game of on tour. Okay, I will keep on the Raid Hat for y'all, though. So, uh, this is the last turn here. Uh, yeah, that's right. Beyond Dead, yeah, it was a spillover fast. So this, so, this is the second time we've been raided tonight uh the brothers murph uh brought their f crew over here and now beyond um i'm sorry was it beyond uh board game feast was one yes thank you board game, uh board game quest gosh thank you and they were here for the raid hat so appreciate it friends um so the next turn is north central and west we have montana in the north louisiana in central and california in the west i'm going to roll the dice we had a lot of doubles this uh, game, folks. Three doubles. So this turn is 24 and 42. The two and the four. 24, 42. So I want to get this 24 out east somehow. I don't think I can, unfortunately. Nope. Can I get that? No, it's north, central, or west. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Uh, Missouri is central. So if I... How am I doing this? I'm going 2, 20, 23, up to 27, down to 32. No, I want to go this way, 32. So let's get 42 over here in Missouri. So that is my central. The 24, I'm just going to have to burn it, I think, because there's nothing. It's either north or west at this point. North or west. Sorry, I'm going to just... Put it up in the corner here. There's my 24. Um, so we have 24, 42, North Montana, Central Louisiana, and uh, West California. Killer Cali. Cali Caliente. Okay, let's continue. We have South Kentucky, East Virginia, East North Carolina, or as we say, North Cacalaca. Dice roll 14 and 41. Whoops. So we have a 1, 4. It's dropped out of my hand here. One, four, and four, one. So 41, 14. Kentucky South, East Virginia, 
uh, East North Carolina. There's North Carolina here. There's my Virginia. So we're going, let's see, two. This here. If I go up and down. Okay, I'm going to put, I'm going to forget the, I'll put the Virginia. That's two. That's a circle, though. Can I get 41 over here somewhere? 41, 27. Okay, the 41 I'm going to burn, but the 14 I'd like to. So if I go up here, okay, 14 there, and 41 has got to be, so that was my um, east. It's either got to be south or east. Put stick 41 down here because it's not going to help me there. Okay. Uh, A.R. Smith, hey, thanks for joining us. I spent all evening making macarons, so that's, wow, nice. Macarons, folks, that's some fancy stuff right there. Michelle and I actually took a class. Uh, we took a cooking class. Uh, Lauren gave us, this was great, one Christmas, Lauren gave us um, a present um, that was a cooking class for macarons, and so we learned, and we haven't made them since that class, but, oh, it was such a fun, delicious time. Sounds fancy, delicious. I... Top out at chocolate chip cookies generally nice. Eric Smith straight flexing us. Yeah, it's so much work, right? It's um, very precise. You got to get those temperatures right. And, you know, we learned about, you know, well, it's been a while now. I'm, now I'm going to have to take that class over to learn how to do it. Um, let's continue. South Arizona, Central Arkansas, Northwest Virginia. We're going to roll the dice. Uh, 73 and 37, folks. So we've had this pair before. 3773. Uh, Aerosmith, yeah, it took about four hours for two dozen, two flares. But it's pretty easy once you get it. Okay, cool. So you, you get experience. Nice. Cheryl Powers here. Thanks, Oscar. Did well lose. I actually won the first game, man. Um, where are you at? Are you, you join us for the game or? 3773 got south there. So I want that if I can match up that 37, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do. Yeah, because this is already blocked off here. But the 73, so if I go here. So I need to connect this over here. So 69 to 73. How am I doing this? I went 49 to 69 to 73 here. And then somehow making it over there. Ah, this is going to be impossible, I think. I'll tell you what. I'm going to put the 73 here for central. I don't circle it. Then the 37. Uh, I'm, going to just, I'm going to dump down here for south. Uh, era trio of power says, Don't own it, just got back from a bike ride. Nice. Um, Grizzly Diz, I have science to crap out of my chocolate chip cookie. Oh, nice. Step in our ass for them instead of birthday cake every year. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, when this pandemic is over, we all will get a kitchen episode with you assisting Panda Angel. I, I love it. That's a great idea. In college, I used to make a batch every weekend, so I'm an ATK recipe. Oh, cool. I don't know what what's ATK. I, I'm not a. I enjoy cooking, but I'm not a hardcore um, chef. Uh, no shame in chocolate chip cookies. The Bon Appetit recipe is hot fire. Nice. Okay, we've got east, north, and south. Uh, in the east is Mississippi. Uh, oh, America's Test Kitchen. Thank you, Grizzly. Is. So East Mississippi, North Nebraska, South Tennessee. Roll some dice. Okay, 38 and 83. Have we had this roll before? We have. So 38, 83. So that means I really painted myself in the corner over here. I could not. I mean, I could go this way. Uh, oh, well, let's get to 83. Is there a North? Oh, shoot. No, South. Okay. So 69, 73, 83. Oh, that 70. This is 73. Ay, ay, ay. How am I going to do this? 
Okay. 83 is going to go here. I really want to connect to this 83. That's the problem. That gives me double points. So I'll put the 83 here, no circle. Uh, and then the 38, I'll put it in Tennessee with a circle. Look, I can almost do another path here. Orgy and Feast, thanks for joining us. No problem. We we're going, uh, we got you. So East Mississippi, North Nebraska, and South Tennessee, 38-83. I'm moving on, folks. Next card out, oh, we're going to shuffle. So the first one, South Alabama. Give these a quick shuffle. Got the raid hat on. I want to thank everyone for raid who's raided. Uh, two different raids tonight, Brothers Murph and uh, Board Game Quest. Appreciate you all sticking around. This is the finale of Season 5 of our Tabletop Tonight stream. Uh, as I was saying earlier, we're going to be doing some new things. I'm going to be bringing in guests, online guests, folks, uh, since Michelle and Lauren can't always uh, join me. So since Lauren and I, uh, Lauren and Michelle can't join me all the time now because all of our schedules have changed, uh, I'm going to start bringing guests online. We're going to I'm going to try my best to do, I, I mean, I love cardboard. I love the actual analog games. I'm going to do my best to continue doing that, but... We are going to have to move over to uh, it's just reality. We're going to have to play some online games, which I don't mind. I, I like Board Game Arena. I can do Tabletop Simulator. I can do Tabletopia. It's not my favorite, but I can do them. I'm no expert. Uh, also got Steam. That's an option. So we will see. Uh, let us know. Let me know in the comments. What would you all like to see as we move forward here? Oh, my gosh. Twin Flower. Gifts. Gifts. Thanks for the gift. Oh, my gosh. Um, five gifts for Season 5, folks. From our friend Twin Flower, one of our biggest supporters. Thank you, Twin Flower. Folks, even though Michelle and Lauren are here, we should still do alert, alert. There are five new subscriptions. Thanks to our friend. Thank you, Twin Flower. Thank you. Woo, woo, woo. Um, oh, here are the clappy hands. They're over here. Clappy hands for Twin Flower. You're on fire. Woo, fire. Thank you, Twin Flower. I, seriously, you're the best. There's a little Bruno for you. Woo, 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 woo. So generous to you, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm going to, I've shuffled the card. I'm going to continue. DJ Super Best Friend, thank you. Um, we got Central. Oh, I guess I should put this. You know, I'll, I'll throw out one more Bruno for y'all. This is a Bruno that Michelle made. So when Bruno's not feeling like coming into the um, game room, we always have a Bruno here. This is the next turn, friends. We have South Alabama, East Florida, and Central Wisconsin. Show some love for Bruno. Let's see those Bruno emotes in chat, folks. I'm going to roll the dice. Uh, looks like 19 and 91. 1991. Trevor says, no, Slackfish, you're the best. Y'all are both. You, you guys, y'all, you, seriously, there's a Bruno emotes. You all, I mean, it's, it's so kind. Thank you for your generosity. We've got 19 and 91, South Alabama, East Florida, Central Wisconsin. I wanted that 91 in the West, unfortunately. That would have been, no, actually, no, 83. 19 I might be able to use. If I loop over the two, can I go this way? If I did 19 down here, 2, 14, 19, 38. No, I'm going to miss all those, though. So I'll do East for 19. And I'll do south for uh, 91. There. 1990, 1991, what a year. Is that the – I'm not going to guess anyone's birth dates. Um, Murray Mack, okay, quarter midnight. Thank you for stopping by, Murray Mack. Appreciate it. Have a great night. Uh, bottom screen is showing the wrong game. Thank you, Grizzly Diz. I'm going to fix that right now. Appreciate you all looking out for me. See, I need, I need all the help I can get, folks. What am I doing here? Coke Pass. What are we playing? We are playing on tour. I forgot to set the uh, thing here, so I'm just going to type it in. Thanks for the point out. Appreciate it. Makes us look that much more professional, right? There it is. We're playing on tour. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, board Game Feast. I uh, hope you're calling out these numbers like bingo. Or well. Yeah, so we have 19, 91, uh, South Alabama, East Florida, and Central Wisconsin. Let's move on to the next one. I've got the stack of cards here. We are actually about three quarters of the way in the game, so let's get ready here. West Utah, West California, and East Pennsylvania. 
And again, if if it would have been all three regions, uh, we wipe that. And I think you get a it's a star, right? Uh, let's go here. Forty seven seventy four. Four seven. Oops. Forty seven seventy four. So that seventy four can definitely help me. So I had sixty nine. Seventy three. I get that 74 here in South Dakota. No, I can't. It's either well. Oh my goodness. Okay. East, east or west, folks. Oh man, that is so brutal. That hurts. That hurts. Okay. I'll do the east. 74 west, I mean. The 47 east. I could seriously start a new one down here. I'm going to put 47 in Alabama. That is not on the list. Okay. Stream title is wrong. Well, thanks. You know what? I'm. We're all the way in here. I don't know what else. Yeah. I don't know what it says, Amanda. We're just going to go with it. Uh, 4774. Um, West Utah, West California, East Pennsylvania. I'm going to do this here. What does it say on the stream, Amanda? I've got North Montana, Central South Dakota, and North Michigan. Let's roll. Uh, 29 and 92. 2992. Shows on tour and stream now. Thank you. So 2992. Let's go ahead and fill in our next numbers here. Oh, man, not this again. 80. Can I get a West, folks? Oh, I can get a... Okay. Nope, that's not going to help. Ugh. 73, 83, 89. Yeah. Just hose myself. 92, 29. You know, I'm going... Okay. Oh, I can't even do that. Okay, 29. We're going to put Central. 92, it's either north or north. I can just go this way. 73, 69, 73, 83, 89, 96. Wow, wow, wow. Put 92 there. Okay. That was 29, 92, north Montana, central South Dakota, north Michigan. Let's continue, shall we? Grizzly did a civil talk tonight. Cloak cats. Thank you. Uh, Central Indiana, East New England, and South Oklahoma. Dice are coming out. We got a 70. Wow. Did we do this one? Yeah. 27 and 72. 2772. Wow. These dice. So if I did this 72 here. 27's up here. Yeah, this is no good for me. Okay. So I'm going to put the 27 east here. And the 72 is going to be south. Here. Oklahoma. See, I have an alternate route, folks. Yeah, not a big deal. Thank you, Grizz. Diz. So, folks, 72, 27. Or 2772. Indiana Central, New England East, and Oklahoma South. Let's continue. Got Kentucky South, Nebraska North, and Arizona South. 2442. I know we've had this one, haven't we? Have we? Yeah, we have. A lot of the same numbers, folks. I don't know what's up with these dice. 2442. So, yeah, I dumped that 24. So I got 2, 14, 23. So I could do 42 here. Oh, is there? Nope. Arkansas. So I did. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. Boom. Okay, I'm going to put the 42 here. I want to see what happens if I do this. 42 in Arkansas, that was my south. And then the 24, I'm going to put 
another south here. I'm going to give myself two options here. Yeah, Slackfish, uh, I hear you. Uh, we're only way too many twos. Um, hey, Daniel, thank you for joining us. Okay. So 2442, South Kentucky, North Nebraska, South Arizona. Let's continue, shall we? South Texas, <clears throat> Central Arkansas, which I just filled in, and then South Colorado. You should try to roll more doubles. Okay, let's do a double, folks. Nope, zero, eight, and eight, zero. So eight and 80. Eight and 80. So this is all filled up, unfortunately, but the 80 might help if I do this. I want to go this way. Nope, not going to help. So I'm going to do 80. Oh, it's got to be south, south, or central. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the 80 here and the 8. So that's central. Uh, then the 8 is going to go south. Well, this will be the south, and I'll put the central up here, I think. Central. Can I still do this? I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, so South Texas, Central Arkansas, South Colorado, 8 and 80. Let's continue. Get real close, folks. Get real close here. Cypher is a great point. 8 and 80 are age ranges for Ruelica. <laughs> uh, North Ohio, East Mississippi, and North North Dakota. All right. Come on, dice. You can use a double star. Really? 24 and 42 again? What's going on with this, folks? 24, 42. Uh, East Mississippi. I could tip that 42 right there. And then uh, north for 24 somewhere. I'm going to stick it all the way up here in Washington. 24. 24, 42. North Ohio, East Mississippi, North no, North is North Dakota. I need to hydrate. Taking the Raven hat off, folks. All right. Uh, Falfon, star doesn't like reset your number in your path by chance. Nope, it's just a wild number. So again, you can have uh, similar numbers next to each other. Uh, it, it, you could do like a 23, 23, that, that totally counts. Or a star, star, or a star and whatever. Okay, uh, next one, we've got East Mid-Coastal, West Washington, and West uh, Wyoming. Okay, roll them dice. We got, I've got one, two more spots left, folks, so this is it. Oh, wow, 99, a wild, folks, 99. All right. I don't know if that's going to help. <laughs> um, if I go this way. Do, 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 do. Wyoming, Washington, and Mid Coast are, are the things. So I'm going to put in Oregon. So does that mean I do another roll? Because I have to fill out my thing, right? End game. When all states are filled, game ends. Begin in any... Okay. When only one or two... Oh, I'm supposed not to flip cards. Okay, so these aren't supposed to be flipped. When only one or two empty states remain, do not flip cards. Roll dice. Uh, players may freely, freely write numbers in any remaining states. So can you end on a wild? I think that's it, right? Yeah, you can end on a wild. Okay, friends, let's count up. So I'm gonna scoot over this way, excuse me. Uh, let me move this a little closer to me. Oh, man, this camera angle, my bad. I should have brought it closer like this. Yeah, I still have a blank too. Should we do one more number, folks? 
because technically it said when you have one or two more um, states to fill, which I had, I had two states to fill, you just roll dice and you take off the cards. Like you, you discard the cards and you just roll the dice. So it looks like I'm going to have one empty state because, well, here, I'll, I'll roll it just in case. Uh, three and 30. Valfon, my guess is you'd roll once more, and if it's not a wild, you pick which number. What player is... Oh, okay. It's right here in the FAQ. Uh, what if players have two remaining states on the last turn, and then doubles are rolled? Players may write the star in either of the remaining states and then play one more turn as usual. So, there it is. Oh, it was supposed to be... Uh, zero. So we have rolled a 30 or a 3, and you can do that as normal, so I'll just put a 3 here. Okay? And now your all of your states should be filled up, folks. So now I've got to find out the path with the most points. So I think I want to go this way. So I started doing this. 2, 14, 23, 30. Okay, so I'm going to go from 2 to 19, 19 to 20, 20 to 23, 23 to star, star to 27, 27 to star, star to 32, 32 to 38, 38 to 42, 42 to 42, 42 to 42, 42 to 72. 72 to 72, 72 to 74, 80, 80, 74 to 83, 83 to star, star to 89, 89 to 96, 96 to 98. Okay, so that is uh, my tour. Uh, Ruelica has gone from the East Coast to the West Coast and back to Central America. So now I count the number of visited states. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 visited states. And then I um, count the number of circles. Why couldn't you do 32 to 37 to 38? Thirty-two to thirty-seven is not connected to thirty-eight. Yeah, I have two thirty-sevens here. Uh, this thirty-seven, I would have to go here and then here. Yeah, it wouldn't work. Yeah, uh, Twin Flower has thirty-six total. Well done, nice. Twenty-four states, twelve circles. All right. Yeah, it's hard to see the connection lines here. Um, so, okay, so I've done 20 states, now i got to do circles. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, I did 11. So I have a final score of 31, folks. Um, wow. Wow. Twinfire got 36. Oh, my gosh. Um, how did everyone do? So I got 31 total. Ruelica had a pretty good tour, apparently. Um, I visited 20 states and visited 11 circles. How did y'all do? Uh, Twinfire, 36. So 24 visited 12 circles. Very nice, Twinfire. Uh, Twinfire, how did you do the same thing? Were you, like, going back and forth? Or did you start in the west or go east? Uh, Grizzly Diz, <laughs> my score is burrito. Grizzly Diz, you win. You, you win. I mean, that is burritos. You know, we, we should do like an all burritos uh, stream sometime, but that's like the ultimate stream stack, right? Burrito. So thank you for hanging out, Grizzly Diz. Um, anyone else got scores they want to share? If not, that's cool too. No worries. Uh, yeah, check out On Tour from BoardGameTables.com. Uh, Twinfire says it was all the stars got to group them together. Yeah, I had like... One, two, 
two, I had three star circle, but I couldn't make that one work. Yeah, that one, it just, oh, wait, you know what? Maybe I could have. If I, no, it would have been the same. Yeah, same thing. Avocado burrito, yum. Dalfon got 17 plus 7, 24. Well done. Good score. That is a good score. I feel like anything over like 20 is pretty solid in this game. I don't think I've ever scored more than 40 something. I, yeah, and that's 40 something. That's like if I'm like on fire. Um, California burrito, avocado was an ingredient, was an ingredient. Nice. My score is lower than 30. Hey, you know, as long as it's over 20, I think that's a good score. I mean, I love this game. I think on tour is a really cool roll and write. It's got, it's, I remember when I first played it, friends were like, eh, they weren't too sure because there's no way to mitigate dice. But I think that's the appeal of it to me is like the fact that you cannot change the dice, right? It's, you got to do what you got to do and you, you're forced to put stuff in, you know, areas that you don't want to. So you have to learn how, to, you just got to figure a way to work around it. Games Fire 23, nice. I think my best, uh, Slackfish says 22. Okay, not bad, not bad. 23, again, hopefully you all had fun. I had a great time. Um, I'm going to start wrapping it up here, folks. I uh, want to remind everyone that we are, I'll, I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. with John and Amanda um, for, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a board in East LA. The only one R says, just blame well for rolling pool area. There you go. That's your excuse, folks. Um, yeah, the boarding day slate at 3 p.m. And, oh, yeah, please post it on the Facebook page. Yeah, that'd be great. And, yeah, if, if you don't follow folks, Tabletop Tonight on Facebook, it's Tabletop and then the number two in the night. Uh, looking for the uh, new format. Thank you, Board Game Feast. Much appreciated. Season five. Friends, I want to thank you all again. I, I, I'm so grateful for all the time you spent here hanging out and it is you know it, it really helps not only me but my family as well as like we, we got to do what we got to do to get through these times together so uh really appreciate it tomorrow 3 p.m board in east l.a hanging out with john and amanda please if you can join us there we are playing i don't know if we have announced it yet so i'll leave that to john to announce uh, we are playing a game and we're gonna be talking about games as well uh wednesday i'm gonna do a rolling with ruo episode it's gonna be a little different um at 7 p.m on wednesday it's it's still me. It's still tabletop tonight, but it's called Rolling with Ruel. I want to try something different, um, so I'll post that as we get closer. Um, probably on Tuesday, not I'll post. Thursday, got a super busy day. 1 p.m., Wardlings with Renegade. Um, we continue our story. Uh, my character, Emtaru uh, Understar, is a Midbari rogue, and he, he's nine years old. He's hanging out with his friends. They're all young kids, and we're exploring this magical wor world of um, in Wardlings. So please join us. It's a lot of fun with Renegade Crew. Uh, Victoria Rogers is an amazing, amazing game master. She is such a great storyteller. And I'm learning a lot just hanging out with Victor, Irene, and Heidi. They're all fantastic role players. Please join us for that. Also, Thursday, I will be, I'm looking at my calendar here, hanging out with Amanda. I'm actually going to be returning the favor. Amanda does all this moderating and chat for us. I'm going to moderate her chats for the first couple of uh, sessions in the morning. Um, yes, Slackfish, thank you for a uh, shout out to Michelle and Lauren for the, all their participation. Appreciate that. Um, also on Thursday, it hasn't been announced yet, but I'm going to be um, before Amanda. So Amanda's stream is uh, <laughs> real breaking out the sword. Watch out. Um, Thursday, I'm going to be on the Dice Tower at 4 p.m. I'm hanging out with uh, Mandy. Suzanne and uh, some other good folk. We're going to be playing Herd Mentality. I don't know if it's about an announcement. My bad if it if I wasn't supposed to, but it's going to be on the Dice Tower channel. Um, be there at 4 p.m. Um, is it Eastern? Oh my gosh. No, 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific. Um, Thursday is also, let me see, Amanda's stream. Please join Amanda's stream, folks. Uh, she's doing stuff for charity. It's amazing the work her and John have been doing. Um, what else do I have here? 8 p.m. Okay. That's it for now. Uh, are we doing any raids, Amanda? Can you let me know? And I will stick around for the raids. Again, I want to thank everyone. I, I I I feel like I can't thank you all enough for everything that's been happening. I've got some other uh, projects coming up that I, I can't wait to uh, share with you. Um, on last Saturday, if you didn't uh, if you didn't catch it, I got to hang out with Good Time Society. That's uh, Becca Scott's uh, channel. I got to play with Jake um, Michaels, Katie Michaels, and um, uh, Amy Vorpal. Uh, they are all incredible actors and creators. 
we play Dominion online. Um, please find me on Dominion online, Ruel Gaviola. You can find me there. We can play Bonsai Nader. Bonsai Nader. Let's go raid her, folks. Stick around here. I'm going to turn off the camera and the uh, mic. But if you stick around, I'm I am going to be on Twitch. We're going to go raid Bonsai Nader. Okay, so hang tight. Uh, thanks again, Amanda. Thank you all for hanging out. Uh, truly, truly appreciate it, and uh, all your support. Much, much love to you all. Stay safe. Black Lives Matter. Um, and friends, we'll see you again Wednesday here. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Board Game East LA, but Wednesday back here, Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Uh, there it is right there, Amanda. It's her birthday, folks, on Thursday. Please follow and celebrate her birthday with her. She's streaming for charity. So, again, we'll see you then. I'm going to go to Twitch, Amanda, and we're going to do this raid thing. So, I'm taking off. I'm still here. Uh, Max is going to go off. I'm going to put up this screen here. So, hang tight, folks. We're going to raid.